if I get a credit card offer and it's got like a 59% APR, I immediately blurt out, it's a trap. It's a trap. Like that? Yeah, like that. You do it. Better. It's a trap. Ben Burt came in to the room where Ren and I were working, and he knew that I did a lot of radio and voice stuff. And he said, well, do, you, do you want to try out for some voices for Star Wars? We're doing a new The Jedi movie. And he showed me the picture of Admiral Ackbar, and, he, and I did it. Admiral, we have enemy ships in Sector 27. It's a trap. So you say you did it. I, mean, I just you, did it. You just came up with a voice? They didn't give you any direction? Well, or? I saw the face, <laughs> and uh -huh. I knew what he must sound like. And, and I did it. I was doing that a lot. In one take? In one take. Yeah. And uh, it was just an hour. And then he said, why don't you do this thing for Bib Fortuna? They were no longer. And so I did that in, I don't know, half hour. But you didn't get credit for No, there's no credit. Yeah. And so nobody knew that I existed. Until it got around, somehow or other, I don't know how that happened. You can, these just came this week, or last <laughs> week or something. They're very nice. I mean, they write very nice letters, and they come from all over the world. He, this one said, I want to thank you for writing me back when I was in the correctional facility. He was in prison. Uh -huh. And I'm out now and bettering my life. How is your health? Could you please autograph this photo for me? Well, one of the things that people send is a package. Uh -huh. And in the package are these two characters. And the package is sealed with uh, cellophane or plastic. Oh, yeah. And they say, would you sign these for me? And I never know what to do. I, I, it seems to me I don't want to open their box and destroy the nice little thing. And yeah. write, where would I write it? <laughs> a bit fortuna. But I haven't signed it yet. I just got it. And the other one, there's another one on the other side. Do these look familiar? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the movie a few times, Eric. Uh, oh, you yeah. have? Well, that's there. right. You did. <laughs> tell was, me what I it's was about. I 13 years old. <laughs> that's right. Did you just say, tell me what it's about? <laughs> yeah. I mean, why did, why was Bib Fortuna, he was, a, he was the bad guy, wasn't he? I almost got the part of, uh, uh, who was that little philosopher that he eventually had in the series? Yoda. Yoda. Uh -huh. And the, the publicity has got it wrong. I was listed as the first audition for Yoda, but it was it was the last. Uh -huh. Because when I was here one day, uh, Ben Burt asked me if I'd like to tr try out for Yoda. So I gave him a voice that he liked very much. Do you remember it? Yes. Can you do it now? I don't know if I can do it now. <laughs> it probably would sound the way I'm sounding now. But he was a little round man, you know, and he was a little elderly, but he was a serious man like that. And he could be talk very low, but he could also be heard. Do you hope at all that the people who are into this will somehow discover some of your work in radio drama? I mean, are you Well, that's that another very happened? important question. I would like that to happen, but the kind of radio drama I do is not like the Jedi movie. I cannot bear this suffering. My head is on fire, and everything goes round me in circles. Save me. I wanted to finally show my mother and father that I was doing something in California. <laughs> so I said, I I'm in this movie, will you come and I'll, I'll show you what voice it was. Mm -hmm. And so my mother and aunt came with me to a little theater in Forest Hills, and uh, picture went on. And uh, the moment was coming up, and then, and then finally Akbar was there, and I said, Mom, that's me. And she said, shh. <laughs> she didn't care at all. She was taken by the movie.